Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is To Be Continued Goods. Um, today I am going to share with you some of the haul that I got over the weekend. Um, I was at a Samaritan's Purse garage sale, a community garage sale with my grandma volunteering, um, which was awesome because I kind of got first pick over a lot of stuff. So I would love to show you what I have. All right, so I'm gonna start here with this little guy first because he is just too cool. I saw him and I just listed those as shell hangers. So this guy caught my eye. Um, it's just like a little container, little box, but it has these shells on it. And I got home and noticed that they it is three moons and uh, then like squares on the top and bottom. But it's really cool. It is so cool. That guy. All right, and then we have these two little, they're like little trinket boxes. Um, both of them are from Kashmir, India. I'm assuming from probably this, I want to say this one's from the 70s and this one's maybe from the 70s or 80s. I'm not 100% sure. It's very hard to tell with these guys. They are handmade. Um, it is painted paper mache, so they are just, they're so cute. They're so sweet. This one has like, make sure I'm showing you the right way. It has these little birds and flowers on it and then kind of all the way around. And then these, this one is a floral pattern with like sort of gold. It's really cute. And you just open up and put your little stuff in there. This one's a little bit bigger. This is the smaller one, but they are both equally sweet. And then this guy is really cool. He, it's like a little, it's another little box. I'm not sure what you would put in there, but they're very neat. And it's copper, or sorry, yeah, copper. It's this etched copper. So the pattern on it is incredible. It's, that's all just scraped into the brass to sort of bring out the tones underneath. And I just think it's really cool. It's very handy, sweet little piece. And then a gourd, carved gourd. It's got this really cool little design on it. These little people, I think. I don't know if you're gonna get it, but they're cute. I don't know. I don't know what you could do with him. Put a little stuff in there. And next, I want to show you this really cool lamp that I got and I'm in love with. Just the cutest pattern. These birds on it. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous lamp. It has the original shade. Um, take this off here. The socket needs to be replaced either by me or by you. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably just do it honestly. I don't think it's like a huge pain in the butt. I'm not even gonna mess with it, but it kind of popped in and out. It might be fine. I don't know, I'm gonna have someone to look at it. It was a little bit loose, so I just wanna make sure it's all safe and whatnot, because it is an old lamp. Next, I have these really cute jadeite salt and pepper shakers. They're just in excellent condition. They needed a little bit of a cleaning, but they polished up nicely and they came clean and they're not gross anymore. They've got a nice little flower pattern on them. The tops are both in just great condition. Uh, no markings. This one has, it's actually inside of the glass. So <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like there's like a string or something inside of it. Or maybe like ink. I'm not really sure, but that's actually, that's not, that's not something I can remove. That's not something you can remove. It's part of who this little guy is, right? Next, I have this little charcuterie board, little cheese, little cheese plate. It's got a lid on it. Um, Genuine teak made in Thailand, if you can see that. So this is a teak piece. It's in amazing condition. Not really any, I don't see any scratches on this guy. He's in great condition. The lid, no chips, no nothing. It needs to be cleaned, but I will do that. So this I am I'm in love with. Ugh. This is the challenge, you guys. Do I keep it? Do I sell it? I'm probably going to sell it. It is this native pottery. Um, the detailing on it is amazing. I'm not sure how old this is. The artwork, the art form itself is hundreds of years old, but whether or not this particular piece, I'm assuming not because it's in cursive, it's probably more uh, contemporary. But it is still gorgeous. It's in excellent condition. It is gonna look cute in somebody's house. All right, and this guy I love. He's just this, I, I bought him because I had to. The colors were amazing and obviously just adorable. It's this bamboo frame um, with these 
self design on it. I'll hold it up here. You might be able to see it a little bit better. I had asked my son. I saw, I saw it and I thought, oh, cool. It's like a rainbow with like things shooting out into the sky. And then I asked my son, I'm like, what is this, Silas? And he said, it's a sun. And he was right. It's a sun. It's not a rainbow with like electricity coming out of it. So we're going to go with my six-year-old's guess on that one and say, this is a sun. Here's a great little basket that I found. Uh, it's like the square bottom basement or basket with the bamboo bottom. So it's sturdy, it's solid. I don't see any anything breaking off of it. There doesn't seem to be anything like coming out of it. It is just a sweet little basket. It'd be a great plant holder. You put like kids toys in there, whatever you wanna do. Okay, I have too much brass, you guys. It's a problem. Let me tell you my brass planters. Give me a sec. So not including the all the stuff I showed you in the last, the three pots I showed you in the last video. Here's another two just like little planters. These I did not get this weekend, but I'm just showing you an example. These are two planters that are gonna be going up eventually. These two I got over the weekend. These two little hanging brass planters are adorable. A big one and a small one. They're so shiny. They're in great condition. They're really clean. Um, I'm going to patina on the inside. Nothing, nothing crazy. Those are good. This guy is good. He's so fun. Look how big. Yeah, this one. I'm not sure. There's no marking on to say where it came from, but it's just, um, it's a cool piece. And then the big, the big, big guy. He, you could like fit a child in here to give them a bath. It's a humongous, humongous planter. I cannot wait for it. It's, uh, it's got some like, patina on it. It's got some color to it. Actually, it's very, it's just gorgeous. It's a really beautiful piece. This one was made in Morocco and actually came from Woodward's. So, yeah. And now on to other baskets. So these guys I'm so excited for. I found these, a set of nesting, four nesting Native American winnowing baskets. I'm just gonna show you the small one because they're all basically the same. But they're just, they're this really great kind of triangle shape. They're in amazing condition. They look basically brand new. I'm not sure how old these are. Um, these, these style of winning baskets, again, have been used for hundreds of years, but whether this one is 100 years or 20 years old, I really don't know, but it is. I don't think they used it, obviously they didn't use it for actual, for actually work. It doesn't even look like they had them out on display, like they're not dusty, they're not faded or scratched or worn or anything, everything is in great condition. I bet you anything these sat in somebody's closet for like 30 years. But I thought that they'd be really cute as, Hanging bla or yeah, hanging baskets on your wall. You just kind of put them there. Do that. You can have them. You know, put something in it. Put a little. Put this guy in there. Boom. It's like a shelf. <clears throat> and there are four of these. So four great little winnowing baskets. Small, medium, large, and slightly larger than that. But they are. This one has a little bit more wear to it. There's a couple spots. You can probably see right there. Just probably where some some broke away. But other than that, they are amazing, amazing condition. All right. So these are going to be the last thing I'm going to show you that I got this weekend. They are really sweet, and I saw them as we were kind of setting up and doing the pricing, and I was like, I am coming back for these. So I grabbed these guys. Look at them. Mama and baby deer and daddy deer. And they're just the cutest. They're so cute, a little family of deer. They are favor wear. These ones are made in Canada. And this, the big one has, a ch you can see his ear broke. Somebody fixed it, his ear's broken. It's really not that noticeable. It doesn't really take away from him at all. I didn't even notice until after I got home. <laughs> I was kind of in a rush buying things, so it's kind of just like throw everything in your bag because 
I was shopping before we opened up to the public, so I wanted to make sure I, and I had to work at 9.30. I was on time crunch. So this little guy has some chipping on him. Uh, a couple little spots, one there, a little on his back, a couple little spots, and then one on the baby knee. It's nothing huge, um, but I will make sure to note that in my listing and include that in the price. And last but not least, the showstopper. I'll be right back. All right, this guy. Okay, are you ready? Look at him. Ba -ba. He's this teak three-tiered they all have bowls it's a, just a server it's just a little server of sorts and he's the cutest i had to grab him i got this one actually i got off of uh, marketplace so this was not a find this weekend but i still want to show you what i got so he has these like little i guess these are spoons whoops i'm leaving them they're these little spoons but they make the top of the pineapple and he just comes right out the other thing, you guys, this whole thing comes apart, very easy to ship. All the layers come out. So, we have these kind of cool three layers. Each one, so the, the bottom two layers have their own bowls. So, a set of four small bowls and a set of four bigger, bigger bowls. And they all pop in and out. You just kind of pull them out. You got another layer and then the bottom one. But this one is from Hawaii, or at least it says Hawaii right on it. It's pretty simple. This one, you can see some of the more intricate ones. But this one is just like a nice, simple Hawaiian pineapple teak serving tray. So, so cute. I'm thinking like tiki party, whatever, regular party if you're not into that. Serving like snacks on movie night. You could do... You have it at your wedding, have all your little, like, little, I don't know, olives and charcuterie stuff. I actually, I got, I kind of lucked out this week and I found two of them. So, uh, my mom's going to pick up the other one. It's not in Calgary. It's going to be about an hour north. So, she's heading up that way next week. She's going to pick it up for me, which is fantastic. I'm not sure if I'm selling them both. I might keep one because they're so cool. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much again for coming to see all my fun stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at 2.b.continued.goods and on Etsy at 2bcontinuedgoods. All this stuff is going to be coming up here in the next few days. There's some things on there already for my last video. Again, I'm just figuring this all out. It, bear with me as I get all this stuff loaded onto uh, Etsy here right away. Um, as soon as I can. I don't want to say right away. Right away for me and right away for you are probably two different things. But anyways, thanks again, everybody. We'll see you next time.